Give us the bottom line here. Is this really a big deal, this CPI report? Is this really a market mover? Keep it in mind, we have a PCE report coming up and then a Fed meeting still in January. Well, clearly it could be, uh, but my sense is uh, it'll be close to expectations. Three, I think you pointed out three-tenths of a percent increase on the month for the top line, two-tenths, three-tenths on the core. If we get anything close to that, I think you know, markets will take that in stride. Uh, more, more broadly, though, I think uh, there's a general sense, and I think it's correct, that inflation is headed back to the Federal Reserve's target. Uh, that uh, you know all the trend lines here look uh, really good. So one month, we're, if we're off script, no big deal. Um, you know, I think people think that, and I think rightly so, that inflation is uh, going in the right direction here. All right. So it sounds like you're saying if it's a little hotter, a little cooler, that's not a big deal. But there's, are there certain data points within here that you think could be a big deal, whether it's shelter inflation or some other uh, data point that you're watching very closely? Yeah, there, there, there are a few things that are key to the outlook that inflation is going to continue to moderate. Uh, you mentioned the growth in the cost of housing. Uh, that, that's key. That's, you know, a third, of, a little over a third of the CPI. So that has to come in. Uh, you know, everything says that it should. Uh, it's, it's tied back to market rents and rents have been flat to down for more than a year. It takes about a year for the rents to translate through into the, into the CPI. But uh, I would expect that uh, to occur. And we'll see more evidence of that today. So that's something to watch. Okay. Uh, also, vehicle prices, that's key. Frank, uh, you know, they went skyward during the pandemic with all the shutdowns and the collapse in production and inventory. New vehicle prices have come in, but new, excuse me, used vehicle prices have come in, but new vehicle prices still remain very elevated. And that's really key also to the outlook for getting inflation back in. So I, I would watch that as well. Okay. So in your mind, uh, are we on path for a soft landing? When we talk about that soft landing story, how important is this CPI report? And what do you make about uh, those comments from the New York Fed president? Yeah, I think we're on track for a soft landing, meaning no recession. Uh, you know, and, and inflation is key because uh, if inflation doesn't stick to script and remains uh, uh, above target, then the Federal Reserve is not going to be able to cut rates and may even have to raise rates at some point. And that's the fodder for a recession. So, you know, key to a soft landing, critical to soft, the necessary condition for soft landing is that inflation, you know, uh, moves in the right direction here. I, I think uh, President Williams is uh, uh, making a really good point. He's saying, look, uh, we've got a ways to go here in getting inflation down. Even if inflation sticks to our script today, core is, you know, around 3%. So we need something closer to 2 uh, and 2.5% 2 .5 on the CPI. So we've got a ways to go. So, you know, it's a little premature to conclude that we're going to have uh, lots of rate cutting here. I mean, the Fed's forecasting three. I think okay. we mentioned the markets are six rate cuts. That, you know, that feels uh, overly optimistic. So you're saying the Fed's at three, the market's at six. What do you think is the most likely outcome here in 2024? I'd be closer to the Fed's forecast than the market's forecast. Uh, you know, I, I mean, three rate cuts is pretty aggressive. Uh, and I think that's probably closer to what we're going to get in uh, okay. 2024.